I grew up on a farm in the Donald Jeffcott district, 700 acres of wheat ground farm. I used to have trotters, grey and dogs, sheep, cattle. I loved the old horses. They're mates, aren't they? I really love the country. So since I was probably about 10. <laughs> so I worked in several firms in Melbourne, one up Flinders Lane, and they reckon if you work up Flinders Lane, you're, you're a sower. <laughs> I love knitting. Well, I've had uh, one or two firsts and about three or four seconds in a Geelong show. It's nice to get uh, recognised for what you're doing and that. It's just uh, to have fun. I've got two, two daughters. The three of us together, you know, we we would think the same things and talk the same way. And they don't think of me as being an old lady, and that's good. I love talking to them. They're, they're, they're my children, but 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 they're my friends. My father is in the occupation forces in the navy, and met my mother and fell in love with my mother, and was unheard of marrying the enemy, either side. <laughs> and uh, yeah. my dad made a promise that he would always look after my mother. Now my father's passed away and while he was passing away he said, don't forget to, to honour the promise. I take on that responsibility now, looking after my mum and it's, it's becoming across my mum's dementia stage. The most important thing from our point of view is that um, knowing that mum's happy and she's healthy and that she's safe and she's content and, uh, and we're still part of her life. My father um, was uh, on the music halls. He played and sang, and my mother used to say, I wish you'd get a proper job. <laughs> and he used to teach us children to play, and I could play quite well when I was six years old. The ones my dad used to sing was, maybe it's because I'm a Londoner, but I love London so. So we used to, I play that sometimes. It brings back memories. It makes me feel good to remember those happy days, you know. Mm -hmm.